This is Mark Dell from Android Spin, and today I'm taking a quick look at Steam Birds from Radio Games and Spryfox. It's on sale today for just 99 cents. Don't know whether it'll still be that same price when the this video goes online, but I just want to show you a little bit of the gameplay. It's a whole lot of fun. Not got too far. Well, I've got kind of far in the main story here. It's rather quick to actually go through these levels. There's not a whole lot there. But I'll show you the main gameplay and just pick a typical level here. Not this one. It's like a story with each one of these missions that you do, and it's basically a turn based playing game. You can kind of swipe here to move the map around, you zoom out on the battlefield. You can issue orders to each one of the planes. The red ones here are on my side. You can give them extra powers here, like this one here will help them turn around extra fast. This one here will put up shields for them. Have them both break off to the side here, and then end the turn. The computer makes his moves. And the idea, like you'd expect from a dogfighting game, is just to kind of get in behind without getting a f shot. Oh, and I'm not doing too well at that. So I could turn towards him and put my shields up and then hope that I can get behind the other one instead. This guy here is taking a bit of damage. So I apologize for the camera here. The computer I normally use for this is down and out. Oh, yes, and that's another thing. You can tap on the actual planes and get some details about them. See the different stats and what their powers are. Same with the enemy. You can see how much damage I've done to this plane here. You can see I've done about half damage to it. And after that volley, that's pretty much nearly done. If him turn in and finish him off. The idea is actually not to get hit at all. That's what gives you the full amount of stars for each level. Giving chase here. There we go. It's one of the earlier missions, so it's not too difficult. You've not only got two stars on it. It's out of four. See, the missions do get very, very tough. I mean, that one was, the difficulty on that mission is one of the first ones where you are actually kind of jumped by other planes. They come up from behind. If I go back here, I'll show you one of the more difficult ones. You unlock these bonus levels. And things get kind of crazy. So I have these planes up here. As well as a whole horde of them here. Although you are equipped with these different types of missiles. Oops. <laughs> Need to get that charged. Yeah, so you can like fire missiles off. Whew. Yeah, I'm not going to play this one to win because this is going to be tough. And there's some like more surreal things going on here. Like there's these here, which are almost like UFOs. There's quite a few where they're actually able to fire from any angle. And some just have 
so much armor, it'll take several planes just to take one down. And that's one of the more surreal. Yeah. It can uh, eject this green smoke, which will jam your guns and actually do damage to you. The controls work very well. There's no... Gee, yep, totally being destroyed here. There's no, like, pinch to zoom, which is kind of a pity. It just kind of drags around. Yep. Uh, I'm sure these levels are doable, but... case of trying and trying again and trying to get the right strategy down work out what you need to do to use one plane to lure them out while the other ones kind of get a jump on them. And that pretty much summarizes the game. I mean, there's quite a few different missions there to take a look at. They say here that if they start selling some more copies that they'll actually create some more missions. But the game's not been out for more than a week or two, so it's all pretty fresh. It's good with what they have. Anyway, this is uh this is B Mart Dell from Android Spin and this has been Steambirds. Thanks for watching.